Hi, my name is Deb Helfrich, and I am the founder of Hashtag Wellbeing Philosophy. I'm back in the Pittsburgh area to go to my alma mater, Carnegie Mellon, and launch an evolution in the wise feminine philosophy of how we think about being human. This is my dog, Zanzi, my co-star. And this is just a quick video for um, those of you who are attending tonight's Five Rhythms Dance, if Alyssa wants to share this out. Um, salt is highly antimicrobial, antibacterial, and antiviral. Many of you are familiar with the concept of neti pots. Um, for those of us who grew up in the U.S. of hypocrisy, um, some, of, some of the water situation, it's, it's, it's uncomfortable. You're, it's, it's a bit difficult. Um, but especially in situations if we're going to start exercising and be co-breathing with a number of people in exertion, there's a dry salt inhaler method that simply is a very similar. Now, let me demonstrate. I basically am all about the do-it-yourself. This is pink Himalayan salt in just a standard spice container. Um, if you want to get complex about it, there are two grinds. I don't know how well you can see this. So there's, there's fine grind and a thicker grind. The fine grind is crucial because what I'm going to do here is simply inhale through the mouth and then breathe out the nose. Do this for 30 seconds, 90 seconds, I don't know. There's Who needs to be shown a study? We know neti pots work. They've worked for centuries, millennia perhaps even. Dry salt is the same thing. You'll barely notice it. If you're doing it correctly, you inhale through your mouth and exhale through your nose. There's almost nothing you'll notice um, as far as sensation. It's not difficult like the neti pot maneuvers. You will be able to taste, if you've got a fine enough grind, you'll be able to taste some of the salt around your lips. And what you're doing is basically you're introducing the salt through your mouth and your nose in case there's any microbes around. Couldn't be simpler. Um, I've been traveling for four months, not a single, no idea that I have interacted with COVID, but I probably have, I probably have um, gained the antibodies and my body just dealt with it. Been using this again, it's it's basically going to last you a lifetime once you make it. And um, there are products you can purchase on Amazon, but come on, let's do it yourself. And again, it's it's just it's a self care thing. It's it's just the simple as you know, all of these harsh chemical things. What you know, um, sanitizing your hands. This is a great on-the-go sample of hashtag well-being philosophy. I look forward to dancing with all of you. And if you'd like to have a consultation about how this really may work and other really cool strategies that I'm here to launch in Pittsburgh, I'm looking for places to do talks and speeches and workshops and things like that. So I'm just so excited for the dance tonight. Looking forward to meet you all. Um, I did five rhythms for a year um, off the coast of Seattle on Whidbey Island. And like many of you, I've been without dance for about 18 months, and it's not been an optimal situation. So I'm just so honored and grateful that this exists in my little neighborhood. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Take care.